Slate Run Living Historical Farm is an 1880s working farm. Costume staff and volunteers do daily and seasonal work using methods from the late 19th century. Maple syrup and maple sugar are some of the sweeteners that central Ohio farmers in the 1880s could produce on the farm. Maple syrup is nice because it could be made during the late winter and early spring when there was little field work competing for the farmer's time. The first step in making maple syrup is tapping the tree. This is done by drilling a small hole at an upward angle approximately two to two and a half inches deep. While maple syrup can be made from any tree in the maple family, sugar maple sap has the highest sugar content at two to three percent. Silver and red maple sap is around one to one and a half percent, meaning we would have to collect twice as much sap to get the same amount of syrup. Trees are not tapped until they reach 10 to 12 inches in diameter. When they reach 24 inches, we can put two taps in the tree. Once the hole is drilled, a tap, or spile, is inserted into the hole. Then a bucket is hung from the spile and a lid placed on the bucket. On average, a single tap will produce about 10 gallons of sap during a season. The sap flows through the sapwood of the tree when the days are above freezing and the nights are below freezing, allowing us to collect it as it goes past our tap hole. If you listen closely, you can hear the sap dripping into the empty bucket. Now we will come back tomorrow and collect the sap. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. The sap is collected and brought to a large pan where it is boiled to remove the excess water. As the water evaporates, the remaining sugars in the liquid are concentrated. The final boiling is done on the kitchen stove where the heat can be carefully controlled. The finished syrup is then stored in an airtight jar until it is needed.